we see the ratties on a top secret test. They've been fired by a food company to test a new wind-free beam. Uncle Ratty's hands are tied to keep his elbows off the table. The Fatty Brothers are enjoying their free food, regardless of the possible consequences. What? Aunt Fatty's taking no chances. She doesn't know where the beans have been. Baby Batty's juggling with his diet, and he will be appearing at the Covent Garden Pizza next Thursday. Here we see Tatty pathetically trying to ingratiate himself with Aunt Patty. Sickening, isn't it? Wait a minute. I don't like the look of this. Something's afoot. Something's a stomach. It's jumping bean time. Here's some canned, canned, canned beans, showing they're not all has-beens. That beam is being played by Robert De Niro. He really gets into the role, doesn't he? And I'm sorry to say, those jumping beans have certainly got into the ratties. Look out! Well, that's a high one. Lucky that hole in the roof was there. The funny brother tried to count his knees, getting tied up in knots and stuck for an answer. Uncle Matt is having trouble digesting those beans. Yes, we have lift off. Even Aunt Hattie's strippers are being affected by the beans. Is there no end to their strange powers? It's even gotten to the family portraits. The experiment's gone wrong. Would anyone like an ice cream? They're having a bit of trouble getting out. Anyway, while their backs are turned, I think I'll have a go with those beans myself. I didn't have time for breakfast this morning. Mmm, yum, yum! They're through! Uncle Matty, through no fault of his own, finds his way out. Here are some beans laughing at a Harry Seacom joke. They obviously don't like the end of it, though. And talking of Harry Seacom reminds me. Will you keep away us, money in the hillside? Will you keep away? Away! Don't worry. Once you've got rid of Harry Seacom, all your friends will start dropping in again. Aunt Hattie decides to liven things up with a bit of nose tickling. Yes, that's what the bad fight into things. While one fatty brother decides to become a full-time bouncer, the other one comes along to have his soup pressed. This form of bouncing is contagious. The only thing you can take for it is a stepladder. Aunt Hattie keeps things going with a bit more nose tickling. The residents are up in ears. What are they rabbiting on about? Ah, they've decided to join in the fun and take a few measurements. There it is, a 19 carat jump. That's got to be a goal. Wait a minute. The referee is accusing him of using an illegal substance. Porridge. By the way, those two rabbits were fired from Watership Down because they wouldn't take things seriously. And here comes Busby. Meanwhile, Baby Betty keeps a sharp lookout for Jehovah's Witnesses, but he spots a Busby, who's in some sort of trouble up there. It could be feather fatigue or premature baldness. Thank God he's safe in the arms of Baby Betty, up and ready. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I'm a vegetarian. Harry Seacombe's obviously been here. They're fast asleep. <laughs> Baby Betty is fast asleep. Uncle Matty is even faster asleep, and Tatty is so fast asleep, it could be a new Olympic record. Don't you think it wise to get insurance, or your house could be stolen around you while you sleep? 